Hello everyone, this is Justin from Justin Ray on Instagram and also YouTube. I'm so excited to share today's video with you. This is a thrift flip collaboration with a group of fantastic DIYers. I've already seen some of the photos and you're gonna be blown away with the transformations. When Christina from the DIY Mommy reached out, I knew I had to be a part of it. Thrift flipping is probably one of my favorite things to do. It's amazing what can be transformed with just a little bit of paint sometimes. And I'm super excited because today I'm transforming a china cabinet that I picked up for $25. I'm so in love with the way it came out. And I'm also super excited for today's video because part of the proceeds will be donated to Habitat for Humanity. We thought what better way to give back this year than through our united passion of DIY and donate to such a great charity. If this video inspires you to join us and give back this holiday season, there will be a donation button down below. I think it's the perfect way to kick off the holiday season here on my channel by giving back. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and it inspires you to tackle your own DIY thrift flip. Okay, to get started, I found this china cabinet at the Goodwill and I wasn't absolutely in love with the color of it at first, but I really liked the style and the price was perfect. It was originally $80 and then it was marked down to 50 and then marked down to 25. So I knew I had to have it. The only thing is that it didn't come with any shelves, so I knew I was going to have to replace those, but besides that, I really liked the structure of it, and I thought the detailing, especially on the top and on the outer doors, was really pretty and would come out pretty sharp if I just gave it an all-over coat of paint. And like you see, it came a little dirty, so that's what we're gonna do next, is go ahead and clean it up. I used a little bit of LA's Totally Awesome from the Dollar Tree. I love this cleaner. I think it works so well, especially to get rid of some of that grunge and grime on there. You'll see on my paper towel what I'm talking about, but this had clearly not been cleaned in a while. And unfortunately, the contact paper did end up getting removed, but I think it looks a little bit nicer after. And I ended up removing all of the original hardware I ended up saving it because I wasn't sure just yet if I was going to paint it or what I was going to do with it, but I could always use it on a project in the future. I really liked the style of them. And with my little sanding block from the Dollar Tree, I love these things. For a buck, you can't go wrong. They're perfect for projects like this. I just went all over the outside of the project and roughed up the surface so the paint could adhere to it. I also went through the entire inside and gave that a light sanding as well. And now that our piece has been completely cleaned and lightly sanded and all the hardware removed, we're ready for the next step where we're gonna go ahead and put on a layer of primer. So originally when I bought this piece, I was going to remove these glass panels but the more I looked at them, I really liked the vintage style of them. So I decided to keep them. And what I did is I just went around with blue tape and taped them all off so I didn't get any paint on them. Oh, and I wanted to say I'm sorry about all the reflections of the messy dining room in the background. I'm kind of in the process of redoing it, restyling it. So kind of everything's spread right now while I'm working on this project. So sorry about the mess in the background. 
For primer, I picked up this Bullseye 123 primer from Lowe's. It was about $11 in this Valspar 2 inch wall and trim brush. These are about $6. I love these brushes. I think they work so well for projects like this where you need to get into all the nooks and crannies. I highly recommend it. So next time you're at Lowe's, make sure you pick one up. And as you can see, I just went all over the project with the primer. That way it was completely covered and our top coat had something to adhere to. Also, what I loved about this primer is that it dries in an hour, so you don't have that much wait time with it. And it also really helped to keep down the odor. I'm not sure where this was at, but I know it's old and I know it definitely had a scent to it, so it really helped to take that away. Also, go ahead and give the entire inside a good coat of this. That seemed to be where a lot of the smell, I'll say, was sticking to, so definitely wanted to get rid of all of that. Okay, so now that we have the piece completely primed, it's time for the fun part. And I used this Krylon Color Max acrylic latex in satin black for this project. I love this paint. I used it in my last video in the flat version, and it's just such a nice thick coat of paint. And I think this black color is really pretty. And I also use that same Valspar brush that we use for the primer to apply the top coat. I also picked up this little foam roller from Lowe's. This works so well for all the flat surfaces on this project. It really gives it a nice smooth coat. I also gave the inside an all over coat of the black. I was originally going to do a different color just to give it a little bit of a pop, but then I came up with a different idea and you'll see that in just a bit. You can kind of start to see my idea come together with the mixture of the black and the gold, a little bit of vintage and modern. I'm loving the way that this is coming out. And once again, I used that foam roller and just hit all of the flat surfaces with it. Pretty much anything that was raised up, I kind of went over and hit with it just to kind of give it a nice smooth texture on the top. Now that's one coat on the project. I did end up doing about two to three actually in some spots, but it started to get pretty dark. So I let this dry overnight. You can see that it's definitely a little spotty inside. So I waited until the next day and then gave it all over another coat.
So once that base coat dried, I just went back through with the same brush and gave it another coat and covered in all those little white marks. The good thing about this paint is that the more you layer it, the less you can see the brush strokes and it ends up having a really nice finish. And for some of the smaller spots, I just went back through with a small brush and gave those a touch up. Now once you have your second coat on, you're just gonna go ahead and let that dry. And once that's dry, go back through and do any of your touch-ups. I will say this looks pretty shiny on camera because of the lights that I have, but in person, it's a little bit more dull, more of a matte satin finish. Um, so it doesn't look as streaky in person. It looks really nice. Okay, so for this next part, I had to get a little creative. So I originally wanted to have glass cut, but I decided to go with this Luon that I got from Lowe's. You can get a sheet of this for $6 and they actually will cut it right in the store. So I just measured exactly what the size of the glass would have been and had them cut it. And what I did is I just went through with a little Minwax and Puritan Pine and gave it an all over stain. I love the stain color. I've used it on projects in the past, and this is what I was talking about earlier with giving the shelves a little bit of a pop. I think this is gonna look really nice against the black. So to install them, all I had to do was go ahead and insert them where the glass would have originally been. I love this idea. I think it's also a great idea if you wanted to kind of modernize a china cabinet that you already have and wanted to get rid of the glass shelves. I just love the way this looks. Okay, so I know I said in the beginning I might repaint the hardware, but Vivano Home sent me these beautiful knobs and they're only $4 on their website, which I'll link down below. And I think that this is just gonna give it the perfect modern touch. I love the way these look. Okay, so now for one of my favorite parts of any project is peeling the tape off and seeing that nice, fresh, clean line. Well, I had a little bit of an issue where the primer leaked through. You can just barely see it there, but it was driving me nuts. So what I did is I took a Sharpie and I just covered it over. And then I took a little bit of that LA's Totally Awesome from the Dollar Tree on her paper towel and wiped it right off the glass and it covered in that little primer that you could see peeking through perfectly. Okay, so I decided to give the shelves a little bit more pizzazz, so I picked up these puck lights on Amazon from Elfland. They were about $19 and you get six of them and they come with these little sticky pads. So all you have to do is stick them under the shelves and I think it just gives it that extra special little touch. Now for my favorite part. If you remember the before, this is our cabinet from the Goodwill for $25. The after, I'm so in love with the way this came out. Look at how good it looks with these little lights on. I think it just highlights everything perfectly. All of my little finds from the thrift stores and DIY projects, I'm just so in love. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure you check out the other transformations. The playlist is in my description box. I had such a great time flipping this cabinet and for such a good cause. Don't forget, if you feel compelled to donate, click the button down below. And once again, thank you for watching. If you did like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Justin Ray. Ray is spelled with a W-R-A-Y. Thank you for watching.